OK, let's go through this. Um, because again, guys, I want to make sure you are aware you're not going to need to know exactly how to graph these. But what I am going to expect for you to at least be able to identify the parts of the graph. And again, because you should understand what at least the graph is going to look like to understand to answer a lot, some questions later on, right? So the first thing is, let's identify the amplitude, which I didn't write into there. So remember the amplitude is the half distance from the max to the min. Define the amplitude, that's just the absolute value of a. Well, a is what we're multiplying outside of our function here, which is 1. Period is the distance it takes the graph to repeat itself, which for sine and cosine is 2 pi divided by the absolute value b. b is our coefficient of x, right, or what we're multiplying on the inside, which in this case is just going to be 1. So therefore, we have 2 pi. So, so far, my graph is just like the parent graph, right? right? It has a maximum and negative 1 to 1, and it repeats every 2 pi. All right, but we see that we have a phase shift. Right? You can see that we're adding pi, so therefore the graph is going to be shifted left pi. So it's this graph basically being shifted to the left. Right? Obviously, the, this is the, the initial period. The graph continues forever. And then we have the vertical transformation. And you guys can use these abbreviations, by the way, on your test and quiz. Okay? Um, then we have the vertical shift, which is going to be plus 1. So that means we're just taking that whole graph and we're shifting it up 1. Okay. These are the basic characteristics, except for domain and range. So the domain, we don't have any discontinuities, right? It's all real numbers. What about, uh-oh, but what did I do? Oh, I shifted it to the left, though. Does that change? No. Oh, there's no discontinuities, guys. The domain is all real numbers. What about the range? Now, again, the graph was never stretched or compressed, was it? It's from negative 1 to 1. But the graph got shifted up one. So if it's from negative 1 to 1 and it gets shifted up one unit, it's now to zero. 0 to 2. Yeah. Right? We're going to go to the bottom, bottom to the top. And then make sure those are included points. Right? 0 and 2 are y coordinates of the graph. So that's why we're going to use the brackets, not the parentheses. Right? Okay. 